Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. On this episode of Nosh and Such, I'm going to make potato skins. Super simple, super yummy. Not so good for the diet though. So this is kind of a once in a while snack. What I have are some small russets. Just get the smallest ones you can find. If you can't find small ones, just get regular sized potatoes. And when you cut them in half, cut them in half again. So in quarters, and that way you'll have potatoes that will end up being a smallish size. This is not going to be a one bite snack. It's probably gonna be more like three, but it's gonna be really yummy. So I think it's gonna be a good snack. So for the potato skins, I like to season my potatoes while they're baking. I have the oven preheated at 375, by the way, and I have some olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic. And when we get to the topping phase, we're going to put cheese in the hollowed out potatoes, hollowed out as in potato skins. So we'll put in cheese and then we'll sprinkle that with some chopped bacon. And then once they come out of the oven, we'll garnish it with some finely diced green onion. And then we'll make a seasoned sour cream. It's going to be really yummy. So let's get started. I'm going to wash my potatoes. Okay, now I'm going to dry them because I want them to be dry when they go under the seasoning If they're too wet, that olive oil won't really sink in. And I like having the olive oil on the potato skins. I just think it's a nice added flavor and it probably keeps them from drying out while they're cooking. And these are kind of small, so I'm thinking I'm going to put the oven at 375, like I said earlier, and then I think I'll cook them for about 45 minutes and then I'll test them. All right, so I think that's good enough. So here are my potatoes. I'm just gonna line them up. And then I'm gonna drizzle with, with some olive oil. And then I'm just going to season them. You could just season to taste. Whoa, I always almost put that big old scoop side out. Oh, that's that would destroy your <laughs> your seasoning process. So Use caution when picking the sprinkle side. Okay, so now what I do after I get kind of all my seasonings on here is I just pick up each potato and I kind of uh, wipe up any of the seasoning that hit the pan and then I just rub my potato so that I kind of rub in those seasonings. And then I just put the potato down and I go to the next one. And then I kind of get my hand in that oil in the seasoning and just kind of it kind of mixes up the seasoning and then it, it gets onto the potato once you get your hands in there. This is definitely one where you want to make sure you have clean hands and you don't mind getting your hands dirty because look, pretty dirty. But if you want potato skins that are tasty, this is what you gotta do. Okay, so there they are, ready to go in the oven. While the potatoes are baking, I'm going to prepare the bacon bits. You can see that my bacon is really flat and 
one of the reasons why it's like that is because I bake them. I don't fry them in a pan because I don't like the greasy mess. So what I do is I put this in a cookie sheet and then I put the bacon on that and I bake it in a 400 degree oven for about a half an hour and I'll flip the bacon so that they're really, and I cook them till they're super crisp. You don't want any of that gooey, you know, kind of gooey fat on there. You want to cook that off. So these are pretty well done. So once you bake the bacon at a high temp, then you want to blot the grease off with just a paper towel. And then cool, have it be cooled and then you can dice them. So I just stack them up and I just cut them pretty thin because you want little bacon bits and you don't want super big pieces. And this is a whole package of bacon, just your standard size package. If you're a vegetarian, you can just skip this part. You don't need bacon. If you like bacon, add it. It's really good, but it's not necessary. The, the potato skins would be just as good without bacon, I think. But I think it's a nice addition, and I have a couple meat eaters around me, so I add bacon. Okay, so once I've gone that way, then I turn it and go the other way. the bacon bits. So when we get to this point here, we'll have a little assembly line and we'll do cheese, bacon bits, and then after they bake we'll um, come over the top and garnish them with a little bit of finely diced green. The potatoes are out of the oven. They've been cooling. They're still a little warm, but I think they'll be okay. I have a uh, food storage container here because the next step is going to be to scoop out some so of the what potatoes. You, do is you take a potato and you cut it in half. This is why you want it to be small because this is going to be the potato skin. And then what you're going to do is you're going to carve out some of the potato and you want to leave some of the potato against the skin because otherwise the skin is too thin and it'll fall apart. So that's about how I like to do it. So then you just put the potato in a bowl and then you can mash this up and make mashed potatoes out of it. Or you could, I suppose you could chop it up and serve it as home fries, you know, fry it up with your eggs for morning breakfast and serve home fries. It might be a little mushy for home fries, but I'm sure you can think of all kinds of ways to use those potatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and carve out all the extra potato here. Just be sure that you leave enough to keep a sturdy skin because you want to be, people to be able to pick it up and bite into it without it falling apart on them. So this is going to take a little while. I think what I'll do is cut them all first and then go back and scoop.
So there's the leftover potatoes. And we'll just chop those up. Make some home fries with it or maybe mashed potatoes or something like that. Now we're going to stuff the potatoes. So you just want to put them in a row. And then you want to just put some cheese in each one of them. Not too much because you don't want it to get gloopy. Just put as much cheese as you like, as little or as much as you like. I don't like too awful much because then it, I think it's, I don't know, my husband probably says that you can never have too much cheese, but I disagree. <laughs> I don't like it to be all gloopy. A little bit is good. And I think that's going to be to taste, really. Fill it up as much as you want. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Now, we're gonna put on the bacon. Just do this to taste also. And if not everybody likes bacon, leave some without bacon. But everybody who's gonna be eating these today is going to want bacon. So I'm going to put bacon in all of them. There they are. So then these will go back in the oven just so the cheese is melted. So maybe 10 or 15 minutes, I'd say. So those will be in there for about 10 or 15 minutes just until the cheese is melted. And then we'll bring them out and plate them. Oh, let's make that seasoned sour cream. I'll leave that out. For seasoned sour cream, there are a lot of ways you could make this. You could use ranch and sour cream. You could use chili powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, maybe um, what, whatever flavors you particularly like. I like this stuff. Tony Chachery's. And this has, it says use like salt. It says when it's salty enough, it's seasoned to perfection. <laughs> so it's salt, red pepper, black pepper, chili powder, garlic. Yeah, that's all good stuff. So you could come up with your own blend, but I really like this. It's easy and it's, it's pretty versatile. We put that in a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to do this to taste. probably good and I am thinking this is just going to be to taste so I just kind of eyeball it I'd say maybe a tablespoon a tablespoon of that and just give it a good mix give it a little taste
perfect. Just enough salt, just enough spice. I think that was a good guess. So we'll just set this aside and then when those potatoes come out of the oven, we'll have a taste. There they are, sizzling hot. I put the broiler on for a few minutes just to kind of speed it up a little bit and give it a little bit of a crust with that bacon. So you're gonna want these to cool and then we'll plate and then we'll taste. Mm. The potato skins have cooled just a little. I'm gonna go ahead and plate them and then we'll garnish them. These are definitely gonna require napkins. Absolutely. But I think they're a great appetizer. And again, if you don't care for bacon or if you're a vegetarian, just don't put the bacon on there. Okay. I think I'll make that the tasters. We'll just leave those on there. Oh, these these cheesy bits on on here. Those are really good too. We'll snack on those later. They're almost like crackers. Okay, so I'm just now going to garnish them with a little bit of finely diced scallions. Just a little bit. Okay, that's good. All right, now let me see if this is too hot. I think so. We got to let it cool just a little bit more. It's a bit warm. But I think this looks really good and it smells really good too. What do you think? Is that a pretty dish? I think this would make a nice snack. We're going to give it a taste. So I'm just going to put a little dab on there in a couple of places because I think this is going to be about three bites. There, I think that's probably good. Okay, let's have a taste. You can see it first. Isn't that pretty? Yum. Okay, here we go. Mm. It's really good. Of course it's good. I've had these before many times. This is a family favorite. You are definitely going to need napkins. Especially if you coat your potatoes with olive oil because you will have a little bit of grease. Or I shouldn't say grease, it's not grease, it's olive oil. But I think this is a delicious snack. Again, omit the bacon if you don't do bacon. It'll still be good without it. Just a little bit of cheese and a little bit of green onion or chives and you're done. Mm. very good and I personally do like bacon and that just gives a really nice salty savory flavor it's 
very good. Keep in mind when you season your sour cream to not put salt in it because if you're going to season your potato with salt and pepper and the olive oil and then the bacon has kind of a salty flavor too. So I wouldn't put any salt in that seasoned sour cream. That would be way too much salt. But I think this was perfect. And I think it turned out to be about four bites. Mm hmm It's yummy. I mean, I could eat a couple of those with a salad and that would be a meal. You know, whenever we go out to dinner, we usually order potato skins. We really enjoy them very much. So why not make them at home? Give this a try yourself if you haven't yet. I'll have the recipe that I used below the video. Between now and the next Mahjong Nash and such, may all your picks be keepers.